can't help but remember what Christmas used to be. As the child inside me wonders to a time I can't forget, where candy canes and magic fill the days that we shared, and the truth of those moments still shines like a star. For the joy that lives inside me is where the seasons start. Cause the heart of Christmas lies beyond what we can see. It's the love that embraced us like arms around our knees. Yes, that heart. Don't tempt me. <coughs> Ebony, Shahia, are you okay? Oh, I'd better be. <coughs> if my throat got scratched, it's bad enough I'm stuck in this cheese ball fake fur Bigfoot getup, surrounded by smelly brats. It's hot as hell in here. You people are starving me. And my phone guy is missing. You know, you don't actually have to dump that toxic waste down my throat to make it look like it's snowing in here. Perhaps they didn't teach you that at the Academy de la Minimum Wage. Je ne comprends pas, là. Bitch. Hello. Get over here now. And for the 90th time, can I get some French toast? Ten o'clock in the morning. I still haven't had any damn breakfast. And don't forget the powdered sugar. Bon, on s'excuse pour la neige avant. La prochaine prise. English. Uh, yes, sir. We are very sorry for having too much snow before. Not as sorry as you're gonna be. And and you? What did I tell you about the water? Didn't I say if I step off the set, have a bottle of water in my hand? Am I off the set? Is there water in my hand? What about this one? Right. Empty hands. Go, Avu, and get me a damn bottle of water, Sivu Flay. What? What? What are you all staring at? Do I have to start yelling? <clears throat> what the hell is that? Oh, you asked for toast and French bread. French toast. French toast. For God's sake, aren't we in France? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna be. I'll be in my dressing room. Mais quelle emmerdeuse! Elle est folle ou quoi, là? I'm so sorry. She's. Yeah, she is a monster. Everything they say about her is completely true. No, no, no. We have been on the road for months. She's tired. We've been going city to city, a show almost every night. Most of us away from our families. Bob, Bob, this is fine, but. French toast. Qu'est-ce que c'est, French toast? <laughs> what you do, you take bread, right? And, well, actually, first you have to take. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to go try and get her out of her dressing room. These, these people have no idea how to treat a superstar. You're the one who wanted to do a Christmas video. To move the single. Christmas is a marketing machine we cannot ignore. I know that, but when you're squeezing a video shoot in the middle of a European tour, it gets a little bit... Ouch! Watch it. For what we're paying them, they can accommodate a few simple requests. Great. Now what? It's me, Ernie. Can I come in? Cratch. Ernie? You know, uh, paychecks were late again this week. Yeah, we had to shuffle a couple of things around. We're short again, Ebony. How can that be? I'll look into it. Hmm. You know how money is. One minute it's there, the next Wait, minute... Wait, oh. I've got an idea. We'll have a Christmas concert. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll have what? When? Where? <clears throat> is it cute? You know, they're good. You should take them on the road. Whitney's got her own hey. people, so I... The concert. Christmas Day, New York City. And since when do you give a damn about Christmas? A concert would promote the hell out of the album. Get a lot of good press. So, 
you're talking about like a charity concert. Hmm. Just think of the write off. A charity concert. Yeah. But uh, exclusive, intimate, intimate setting. Charge a fortune for the tickets. Tourists will pay anything for a little holiday spirit. Okay. And who would it benefit? So, how's the family there, Bob? My godson, little Tom. Tim. Whatever. He's fine. About the concert, you can't have it on Christmas Day. Oh? We're off Christmas Day. Your people want to go home and see their family. They've got the next day off. You can't do this. Well, I just did. Tickets will go on sale tomorrow morning. And how am I going to tell everybody that there's no Christmas break? I'm sure you'll think of something. I know. It sucks. I know. I haven't been home in four months. Neither have I. Yeah, but I have a kid. Me too. Bob, I already bought my ticket home to St. Louis. What am I going to do about that? Well, you're just going to have to change it. But it's not worth flying home for just one day off. Well, that's going to have to be your decision to make. Look, your hotel in New York is covered for the two nights of Christmas. Ah, great. On the two nights of Christmas, the diva gave to me absolutely, positively nothing. She can't do this. Hey, it's a charity concert. Yeah, you know what? Charity begins at home. Well, can we at least invite our families? I mean, New York's not such a bad place to spend Christmas. Um... Oh, no, no, no. No. Do not even tell me. No tickets for the staff. They're selling every one. I mean, after all, it's a... We know. A charity, a charity concert. concert. I'll see you in Nice. It's perfect. We promise them the proceeds, but when we deduct legitimate production expenses, travel costs, and financing fees, we stand to make... One million two hundred and seventy-six thousand and thirty-four cents. Not bad for one day's work. Will that make up for the shortfall? Yeah, I'm sure it will. But does any money actually go to charity? Absolutely. I want to see a picture of me and one of those giant checks on the cover of Billboard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bob, you promised you'd be home. I thought that I'd be free. Well, I need some help over here. I can appreciate that, Kelly, but you know, now I've got to work. So where's this month's check? We got paid late again. Oh, you're just full of good news. Look, Kelly, you know the deal, okay? Ebony... Oh, Ebony, Ebony, Ebony. That song is so old. When are you going to learn? When are you going to back off? What is it with you and her? Look, I don't want to have this fight again, okay? There's no point, is there? <sighs> I guess not. Okay. Can I talk to Tim? Yeah. One sec. Tim, it's your dad. Any word from the doctor? Well, he's still anemic and his blood pressure's high, so... More tests. When are they going to figure out what's wrong? That poor kid. It's tough on all of us. Oh, here you go. Daddy! Hey, uh, champ. How you doing? I'm great. How's, um, Paris, right? Paris is okay, but... It's no Cleveland. I can't wait for Christmas. You still coming home? I'm certainly going to try, kiddo, but uh, we're getting pretty busy here with work, so... Won't it, Ebony let you have a day off? I wish she would, because I've been working pretty hard, and I miss you bad. Listen, do me a favor and uh, take care of your mom for me, all right? You betcha. I wish I were half as brave as he is. Me too. And Kelly, I love you guys, and I will see you soon. But not for Christmas. Kelly. I don't understand. In the month I've been with you guys, every show was sold out. She must be raking it in. What's the deal? She's just a miser. 
I've heard she melts down her gold records for scrap. Do you know she won't even let me get a new hairbrush till the next leg of the tour? Those brushes are $16 each. If everyone got one when they felt like it... Tell me about it. I can't get new guitar strings. I've been faking G for weeks. But what about that hotel in London? Oh. You know the room is filthy when you got to pee and you'd rather hold it till you get to the bus terminal. <laughs> oh, well, Diva stayed at the Park Lane. I got to look at the rider ones. The promoter pays for all of us to be in good hotels, but she puts us in flea bags and pockets the rest. Did she stay in different hotels from Marley and Terry? No, they were best friends. Inseparable. So what happened to Desire? Marley died. That's what happened. And she dropped Terry like a hot potato. Got herself a nice, fat solo career. Whatever became of Terry? Who knows? Writing a book on diva behavior along the way. And now, after an extensive tour of Europe, Ebony's returning to New York City for a special Christmas show. Oh, this is us. from her new Christmas album. So let's go back to 1988. Yeah. First look no way. <laughs> How is that for timing? At five, six, and seven, and ooh, don't move your lips when you count. <laughs> Check out Marley. Yeah, Ebony can barely keep up with Terry. Oh. I bet that looks coming back any second, don't you? If we're not careful, it just might. If somebody moonwalks, I'm gonna lose my lunch. <laughs> I worship this album. I wore it out. I mean, that's why I was so excited to get this gig tour with the one and only Ebony. I mean, come on. Tell me you didn't love this. I had the 12 inch single. How much can I take? You can't be serious. There must be some mistake. Am I delirious or do I feel a heartbreak? This is critical, how much can I take? It's so electrical, I know that it's a heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> I was paged. You are Ebony Scrooge? Just Ebony, if you don't mind. Tickets and passports, please. Thank you. Funny. <laughs> you look a sinner on TV. Anyway, well, uh, you know the uh, 7 o'clock flight was cancelled, so we are trying to accommodate all the passengers onto this flight. And uh, you seem to have an extra first class seat. What's the problem? They want my second seat. Oh. Uh, that seat's paid for. The promoter always buys two seats for me. Oh, so you are the one sitting next to Mrs. Cooch? No, no, I, I'm in coach. Well, why then do you need that? Because I can't spend an entire flight to New York having my ear yapped off by some Formica salesman. I need my space, I need my privacy, I need to be able to... If you give up your seat, we'll give you a voucher for a first-class ticket anywhere we fly. And a full refund for this ticket. Cash? Oui. Deal. Well... Bob, of course, if you want the seat. No, no, I'm fine with the band. Just sign here, please. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I see why you had to cancel the limo. Because I'm not paying a hundred bucks for a ride from the airport. Right. Merry Christmas. Well, pay the man. Right. Please help the board for... Save it for the suckers, Grandpa. Merry Christmas, man. Bob? Ah. Yeah? Where is everybody? The, the screaming fans, the reporters, the usual? I did just what you asked. 
switch the plans and lied to the press so you'd be left alone. Well, I thought you'd at least leak it to page six. There's nobody. God, do I have to do everything myself? T-Bone, I don't want to be disturbed for at least three hours. It's going to take that long to wash the Parisian stink off me. The Princess Sweetman. I guess the Queen wasn't available. Well, some people actually prefer a more intimate setting yes. of the... Well, it'll do. So bright in here. Don't scratch that bag. Hey, not bad. Olivia. Mm. Mm. How'd you get past security? T-Bone, please. Oh, Aunt Ebony, it's so great you're in New York for Christmas. Now you can come over for Christmas. Come on, come on, come on. I know you want tickets for tomorrow night's concert. On Christmas? Of course not. We've got friends coming for dinner and we're inviting you too. Mm. For some lovely frozen turkey, supermarket pie, box wine. Box wine, I love box wine. It's so easy to gift wrap. Well, let me consider your peeling offer for a second. Uh, mm, no. Well, suit yourself, Auntie. But I'm just going to keep on asking. And one of these days, you'll remember I'm the only family you've got. And then you'll come over for dinner and give everybody a heart attack. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ebony. Merry Christmas, right? Hey. Just saw Olivia. You gonna be hanging with her tonight? Of course not. Gotta get some sleep. I have AIM America tomorrow at 7, a photo shoot at 8. How often do you get to see your only niece? Family is an accident of birth. That is so beautiful. Have you ever considered writing for Hallmark? E. It's Christmas. You know, peace on earth, goodwill towards man. Christmas exists for one reason only. To sell crap to the masses. This year I happen to have a Christmas album I'm trying to unload, so I'm all about that holiday spirit. Please. If people were really interested in peace on earth, they'd be doing something about it instead of shopping and overeating and dressing up fat old drunks as Santa Claus. Hello. Cratch. Ernie. Ebony, I need you to sign the contract for the charity. Which charity is that again? Uh, the uh, National Homeless Coalition, of course. Oh. Any good? Sure. They help the homeless. I thought my tax dollars built homeless shelters. Rat holes. Most people would rather die than live in those shelters. Some of them might be better off if they did. Hmm. But anyway, that's, uh, that's who we're helping. So, how about you? I know this isn't your favorite time of year, what with Marley's accident at Christmas. Yeah, I'm fine. I just need a decent night's sleep. Well, why don't you try some hot milk for a change? Hey, Bob, you're not my daddy.
smoke. I need sleep, not calcium. Uh, yeah. I want to order some dinner. The princess suite. Uh, spinach salad. But make sure it's washed. If I find one grain of sand in it, I'm sending it back. Uh, seared tuna, but rare. I want the inside blood red, or I'm sending it back. And farfalla. But al dente, if it's soggy, no, if it's soggy, I'm coming down there and shoving it up your... The seared tuna and al dente for follow. dinner just got here. What did I tell you about the spinach? There's enough sand in it to make glass. Well, somebody better come up and get it because I'm not eating it. And in five minutes, it'll be on the wall. your best friend, your partner. Sister, you need help. I really am Marley. Look, you may think you're Marley, and, and maybe you look a little like her, but you're crazy, and Marley is dead. <laughs> you're telling me. Look at this. No way. Way. Thank you. 
Marmalade's never given me hallucinations before. You know what? You need to stop taking those pills. And now I'm getting lectured by a hallucination? I'm not an hallucination. It's me. I'm really here. Really? Marley? I'll be damned. <laughs> you got that right. Huh? I'm here to warn you, Ebony. About what? You're gonna end up like this. What? You haven't aged your day. Because I'm dead. No, it's worse. Undead, stuck in limbo, wandering forever. Mouse, you don't look so bad. Nothing little Lancome and Spackle can't fix. This, this is for you. This is what I really look like. I guess they don't have facials in the afterlife. <laughs> facials? Girl, no facials, no massages, no body wraps, and you break your nails every day. <gasps> no, not the nails. Yes. That's why I'm here, Ebony, to help you. Well, do my nails? No, to save your soul. Is this about the royalties? Because we settled that. If I wrote 65% of the song, I get 65% of no, the... No, Ebony. I mean, I think I'm way past worrying about money now. Well, then you must be dead. Because nobody's past worrying about money. And what's with the get-up? I thought you quit the whips and chains when you broke up with that guy from Paramus. These chains are to remind me of my mistakes. How I threw away my life. I'll say you did. What a waste. We were getting so big. But how did we use our success? You know, what did we do to help our own? In the true business of life, we were flops. Mm, that makes no sense. Girl, I have tried. Lord knows I have tried so many times to reach you from whew, wherever it is I am. And tonight, I finally did. And I am telling you that you have got to start... What gives you the right to tell me what to do? What gives me the right? We were best friends. You tell me what happened to that. You ruined it. That's what happened. You pushed us out of the spotlight. Oh, so it's my fault. Excuse me, I'm talking. One minute we'll trio. The next, Terry and I are your backup singers. And that hurts. Oh, so it's my fault you got into drugs? Please. You can't blame me for... And you stood by. You should have been looking out for me. How? I tried, but you wouldn't listen. The more I told you to quit, the more you did. Because you were always... I loved you. But there was a business to run. It's not my fault. Well, where were you Christmas Eve 1990? Where was I? I was getting the news that you got messed up and wrapped your Porsche around a tree. Yeah. And I took two innocent lives with me. What did you do? I cried my eyes out. I've never gotten over that. The very night I died, you abandoned Terry and started planning your own solo act. No, that's not true. And I had to watch all of it. My hell is watching you screw up your life. Remember that showcase of tramps that Bob put together? Yeah, that night was make or break. We did a good show, we get signed. We choked, we'd be history, remember? Yeah, we, we kicked butt. Well, tonight is like that. You're going to be visited by three spirits at one o'clock, two, Ooh. and... Tonight's no good. Well, tough. I have to get some sleep. I have AM America at 7. They're I've got a... spirits. <laughs> they don't care about no talk show. Oh, Marley, no one cares about talk shows. Well, look at my calendar. Damn. That farmland's some powerful shit. you were sending a new order up right away? It will be there any moment. Yeah, but I ordered it over. Oh, uh, okay, you're there.
Good evening. I better eat something soon. I am tripping. Yeah, I'm kind of a klutz myself. <laughs> hey, look what time it is. Did you see what... Let me guess. You're the first spirit? Was it the dress? I hope you know you're not getting a tip. It's okay. I'm a spirit. Our currency is magic and creepiness. Who are you, anyway? Who am I? Exactly. Who are any of us? I mean, really. But I digress. Hi, ghosts of Christmas past. What, like chestnuts roasting on an open fire? Uh, hope you're going to be dressed warm. It's going to be a little cold where we go. <laughs> okay, crazy lady? I'm not going anywhere. Already she's starting. Gucci. Not bad. I got it free. Last year I had to show Tom Ford all his past Christmases. Well, now I gotta change. No time. We gotta go. Why are you really here? To help you. Well, you may as well go then, since the only help I need is a good night's sleep. You know, to save you then. But you're so annoying. And you're cranky. Let's go, Missy. Another day at the office for me. My hometown, Patterson, New Jersey. That explains the smell. No, no, it's it's a quaint little town. We'll take a good hard look. In 20 years, this is all going to be a strip mall. There's Pat. Marley, Terry, and I used to hang out there all the time. Hey, Pat. I guess you can't hear me. Oh, see that basketball court? My brother Ronnie and I used to play there every afternoon. Until... Oh, there's old man Miller's place. And then comes pizza! <laughs> oh, Roosevelt High. I remember everything. Really? You'd never know. Huh? Oh, see this place? The acoustics in the girls' bathroom were perfect. We used to sneak in on league nights and work out our harmonies. <laughs> right there. Mrs. Healy? Mrs. Healy! Why can't anybody hear me? Because these aren't real people. It's like Los Angeles. Oh. Merry Christmas, everybody! Ho, 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 ho! Happy holidays! Oh, there's Andy the fish, Scooter, Jackie? Molly! <laughs> Molly! And where is little Ebony during all this excitement? Oh, there you are. Let's go inside. No, I don't want to. See yourself. It's Christmas Eve and you're here practicing scales? You must really love it. Oh, yeah. You should be home on Christmas. Home? Song title. Four words. First word. Down. Floor. Feet. House. Home. Here. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. What did I tell you? Keep it the hell down out here. And what the hell are you crying about? Last time, there's no Christmas in this house. There's nothing to celebrate. You see the presents? You see your mother anywhere? You're lucky you got a damn roof over your head. Then you stop your crying, or I'm gonna give you something to cry about. You hear me?
Let's see another Christmas. Ebony. Ronnie? Take you home. Home? I can't go back there. E Ebony, I've been keeping in touch with Dad. He's been really good. He stopped drinking. If he just came home with us, everything. I can't forgive him. How am I supposed to ever trust him again? Of course, my dad started drinking again, so Ronnie took off, got married straight out of high school, had Olivia. And then just like that, he was gone. An aneurysm. Can you believe it? First you lost Ronnie, then Marley. His daughter really is the only family you have. You must spend a lot of time with her. Well, I just saw her last night. Uh-huh. Let's go. Another Christmas. Hey, isn't there any other night you can show me? Uh, there was a New Year's in 95. There oh, was right, really... and that Arbor Day in 96. Woo, they're still talking. Sorry, I just do Christmas. Problem is, your little thin on Christmas is worth remembering. And that's my fault? Well, <laughs> there's one. What? Nice. Take attention away from your face. Was that a backhanded insult? And now, Club 52 and WRKZ present the number on, one yeah. new R&B act in the nation. All for one. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together what for is she doing? the are a little predictable, and the dancing's a little, you know, dated. What are you, a critic? No, no, not professionally, but where I hang out, Billie Holiday duets with Otis Redding, and last night, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell were doing Nothing worse than a cocky spirit. I can't breathe. The room's too high. So how can you do mostly ballads now? Hmm, it's what the record company wants. I feel a heartbreak. This is critical. How much can I take? It's so electrical. I know that it's a heartbreak. Where am I? What in me? It's out of control. In my heart, I like it. So deep in my <laughs> Seems like such a long time ago.
1988 has been such an amazing year for us, and we have all of you to thank. Thank you so much. And next week, we start our first world tour. And we may be gone for a long time, but no matter what happens to us, we will always remember our first fan. Woo! Yeah! Christmas house. I forgot how perfect that night was. Well, we gotta go. We're running out of time. Can't we stay a little longer? Hmm, let me consider that for a minute. Um, no. Where are we going next? I don't know yet. Well, will you make up your mind? I mean, when you drop me? That would suck for you. It's a long way down. But well, that's my point. Let's find out. Oh, relax. I had you the whole time. I, I, I... Don't worry. I can't kill you. Yet. I'm not done with you. Well, that's comforting. I don't understand. We will see each other every day. So much is happening, Bob. We're both going through all kinds of changes. I'm not. I'm not changing at all. I'm still exactly the same guy, and I feel exactly the same way about you. What about in a month? When I'm busy all the time, and I'm being pulled in a million different directions, I'm not going to have time for you, and... And nothing. I love you. I will understand. I'll see you at night. I will see you on your days off. I can wait. E, you don't have to do this. And there'll be girls throwing themselves at you? How do I know I can trust you? Me? You can't trust me, or you can't trust yourself? Same difference. Things happen, you know. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't throw cliches at me. Just give me a little space, okay? There's another one. Look, Bob, I am grateful for everything you've done for me. I mean, I wouldn't even have a record deal if it wasn't for you. This is not about a record deal. It's not like I'm firing you or anything. I want you on the road. Fire me? I am your boyfriend every bit as much as I am... How's this? When the tour's over, we'll see how things are. How we feel, okay? He was just the tour manager. He wasn't good enough for you. Well, that's not it. No, you were going to be rich and famous. You could find someone better. I never said that. Or maybe you were just afraid to lose him like all the others. I love you for who you really are. I knew you when you were nobody. What makes you think you can find a love like that again so easily? I'm not looking for love. I'm looking for success. You coming? Merry Christmas. Oh, Bob. Take me home. I can't stand this. Just one more. Just a sec. Just a sec. Um. 
Here you go, dear. Your special Christmas dinner. There's no way that's Terry. Where are we supposed to be? When? This is just a year ago. Last stop on the tour. Thank you, Mary. It's really kind of you. Terry, any chance you could come down to the shelter and sing for everybody this year? <sighs> I wish I could, honey, but my voice ain't what it used to be. It will mean an awful lot to the folks. You are our most famous client. Oh, God. Well, listen, I, I'll see what I can do. I can't promise anything. No. Thanks, Terry, and Merry Christmas. Mm, you too, sweetheart. I have no idea. How'd she end up like this? This isn't where are they now. Okay, that's on later. When was the last time you checked up on her? Did you ever give her any money? No. She had her share. It's not my fault she blew it. As far as I know, she never worked again. She tried. She tried to start a new desire. Well, I couldn't let that happen. Of course not. Your lawyers crushed her. That's how she ended up like this. This place is giving me the creeps. Why won't you accept responsibility? Just get me out of here. Don't blame me. I'm just showing you what's been. I don't make this stuff up. Well, I don't care. Stop haunting me. Stop being so hauntable. Oh, you skinny bitch. <gasps> Did you say skinny? Oh. Never again. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Outrageous. Is anybody in there? You better open up. You are messing with the wrong bitch now. I'm going to call security by the count of three. One, two, Better watch out, I'm coming in. Come on, come on. Don't do this to me. Just one more shot. Who the hell are you? Oh, hello. Fancy a drink? Mm. Guess not. I said, who the hell are you? Get your shirt on, I heard you. You don't, you don't recognize me then? No. What are you doing in my room? Having a party, baby. What does it look like I'm doing? Mm. Mm. No. Mm. Who are you? I'm the spirit of Christmas. Presents. Christmas presents? No, not Christmas presents. Christmas present. <sighs> Everyone always gets that wrong. <laughs> Look, you can just call me Steve. Steve? Just Steve. Belch's son. And how did you get in my room, Steve? Holiday magic. Well, how'd you get past T-Bone? Oh, hear me sleeping like a baby. Really cute, too. <laughs> Look, uh... Charming as it is to hang around here talking to you, we got her in the road, so uh, grab hold. I will not. We've not got all night. There's a lot of stops and not much time, so grab hold. Stop saying that. Am I going to have to get nasty with you? Oh, you mean you get nastier? I do. Oh, you've got nice soft skin, haven't you? Oh. Hang on. Sweet, huh? It's nicer in the brochure. Uh -huh. Well, look, it's not that bad. Look, they have their own refrigerator. Oh. Well, still. Why don't you put them in a nicer place? You have no idea how much it costs to keep a crew this size on the road. How much do you need? When are you going to spread a little around? 
Ask my business manager. I'm asking you. It's Christmas Eve. Look at this place. Somebody say eggnog. Oh, no. This is the best Christmas ever. God bless us, everyone. Oh, shush. <laughs> Anybody for Chinese? Who are not so benevolent dictators. Ebony, the frozen hearted. Here, here. Yeah. Off with her head. Yeah. Hey, you, you're fired, Miss Thing. Yeah. Oh, I have a sense of humor. They want to like you, you know. You don't no. give them a chance. I don't know. No, a lot. I don't like <laughs> Sorry, I don't know any me. Unless you're referring to that husband guy that I used to see. All right, so it's not our best Christmas. Oh, no, it's great. Santa's uh, just left, and, and Rudolph's sitting by the fire. Come on, Kel, it's just one night. And how many do we have left? What are you... He's not eating. He's losing more weight. He's weak. He's sleeping all the time. And when he does wake up, he asks for you, and you're not here. And I don't know what to do, because every time I look at him, he looks worse. I wish to God I was there. Then get on a damn plane and come here. I just got to get Ebony through the concert tomorrow and then... Oh, to hell with Ebony. You have a family. How dare she... We would have nothing if it weren't for Ebony. And how do we cover the medical bills if I quit? I don't know. But... You know, I've had a good job with her for 13 years. She's been very generous. Generous? Ha! <laughs> Listen to me, Bob. Your son is sick, and your marriage isn't looking too healthy either. Now, may I suggest that you get your ass home? Right after the concert tomorrow, I will get on a plane. I just hope it's not too late. Dad? Dad? Yeah, sweetheart, hey. Is that you? How are you? I'm fine, Dad. Don't beg with Mom. She's just worried. <laughs> so am I. I'll be okay. I'm just tired. Well, then do me a favor, kiddo, and get a little rest, huh? And I will see you soon. I love you, Daddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Tim. I had no idea Tim was so sick. You had no idea his name was Tim. Will he live? Not my department. I'm Christmas present. Sure don't look good, though, does it? Oh, God. Well, you care. Might be better off, right? Can I go home now? Hell no. Pardon the expression. Let's see how everyone else spends their Christmas Eve. Oh. Park Avenue. Nice. Yeah. This is how your accountant spends his Christmas Eve. Mm, I must pay him too much. Uh, not exactly. How about another toast to my boss, my benefactress, Ebony? If she had any idea how much she really pays me, she would choke and die. Which wouldn't be such a bad thing, considering I've carved myself a nice little piece of her estate. You're a bastard. I'm a genius. Oh, I'm so handsome, too. Well, I'm so glad you agree. Ugh, what a creep. Imagine stealing from someone who trusts you. What a heartless so-and-so. Come on. But you see, Christmas does suck. Nothing but sickness and death and dishonesty and At least you got your fans. Those losers. Those losers bought 2,500 tickets to your overpriced concert in 11 minutes flat. Where'd you think you'd be without them? I'll pick it up, will ya? Hi, Bob. How are you? 
Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas to you, Mary. Hi, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Even these people have Christmas spirit. They have nothing. Not even a place to sleep, but they know Christmas. On the bright side, these are the folks who will be benefiting from your concert. That's right. How much will they end up with? Maybe enough for a new blanket. You must be so proud. Hey! You're invited, right? So what'd you say next? She said, come over for your frozen turkey dinner, supermarket pie, and box wine. I don't think so. That woman thinks she's all that. Yeah, well, she's got no idea what she's missing. Yeah, but she'd rather have room service. Honey, why do you even bother? For real, because it's a well-known fact that you're on Ebony is a full-on master class diva bitch. You're here. You know, I never liked him anyway. No, no, she's, she's all right. What? I don't know. She's had a tough life. It makes you hard. What are you talking about? <laughs> she has everything. You know what? She doesn't have this. She doesn't have Christmas. With everything she's got, I pity her. I would never want to be in her shoes, live her life. Never. Here's to my Aunt Ebony. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. She may no. be mean. She may be bitter. But I will keep inviting her to Christmas every year until she comes to join us for our meal. Because she's family. My father loved her, and I love her, too. You're an angel, baby. Come on. <laughs> now, how about a good old-fashioned game of charades? Come on. Y'all know how to play. Okay, Matt, you're on. I think we better get going. Oh, please, they're playing charades. Just a few more minutes. Okay, one round. Uh, it's a song title. Two, Two words. words. First word. Chest. Best of my love. Pound. Hit. Beat. Come on. Heart. Uh, heart. Heart? <laughs> the heartbeat! <laughs> Heartbreak Hotel. What? That's two words. Second word. <laughs> um, heartquake. What? Uh, drunk. Somebody heartquake. Earthquake. <laughs> oh, heartquake! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> we really gotta go. I thought you were the party animal. Yeah, well, your partying's over for one night. Ooh. Finally getting used to this. Keep an eye out for two things, Ebony. Ignorance and greed. Both killers. Sneak up on you when you're not looking. Ignorance, greed. Got it. Can I get a drink or... Uh... Bye. Spirit number three, right on time. I'm ready for you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, look, I'm sorry it's so late, but I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. Leave? Where are you going? I've got to get home. Tim is sick and Kelly... Well, I need you. You can leave after the concert. You don't understand. Yes, I do. No. No. Look, i got to try and catch the first plane. Hey, Bob, you're not a doctor. There's nothing you could do for Tim. I don't see the point. You're rushing off to... He is my son. And I've got to see him. Now, if you can't understand that, Ebony... I don't care. You want to call it a personal day? Great. You want to call it quitting? That's fine, too. But either way... Goodbye. Hey, you can't walk away from me. After all I've done... Hold on.
fame and success. Come on, buddy. Road to crash. The nightmares, the headaches. Do you have any regrets? About time they started to air this thing. She burst onto the music scene as part of a pop R&B trio. The interview about six months ago. Tragedy launched her on a solo career that made her a household name. Charges of cruelty and miserliness were made but never stuck. And she became one of the biggest selling female artists in history. Tonight, a special edition, Ebony, Behind the Music. I'm not out to impress, I'm not there doing my thing and if people dig it, it's great. Just watching my Being show. Not glamorous. Coming up on Behind the Music, the remarkable life and tragic death of a diva. What? Legions of fans all over the world bought her records and attended her legendary live performances. Even those who knew her best were in awe of her talent. Ebony was a great artist, one of the most important in the history of my label. Oh, Ebony always knew that she wanted to be successful, above and beyond anyone else or anything else in her life. She was a great singer. Great. <laughs> and she'll continue to be important. I mean, between best of albums, dance remixes, the unreleased songs, there's going to be Ebony music for years. So many were saddened to hear of Ebony's death. From fans to stars, including one of the top artists in the music business. I'll never forget how it all went down. I heard that Ebony was recording a song of mine, and I was thrilled. Her albums always shipped gold, minimal. And then I heard that she died, and I was crushed. But what he didn't know was that Ebony had recorded a demo of the song just the day before. We rush released it as a memorial single. And it went through the roof. It was great. Uh, and the workers are just about finished with the new pool. Thanks, Ebony. I'll never forget you. You bastard. Of course, it's always tragic when an artist dies so young. But ultimately, I have to say it's the best thing that could have happened. <laughs> Better now than later, that's for sure. You know, she's worth 10 times as much dead as she is alive. 10 times? Make that 20. <laughs> I'll have your head for this. Ebony's fierce temper was well known. Get this guy. Get, get, the, get, get the camera out of here. There was an incident that I remember. She pissed a director off so much that he actually smashed six television sets. One time, she fired her personal staff for making eye contact with her and not backing out of the room. Remember the time Ebony stole Mariah Carey's dress at a TV taping? Poor girl had to go out in her underwear. That's not true. Exactly. Luckily, nobody noticed. I heard she once fired her cook for eating some of her food. Her cook. He stole a rib roast. I think it's great that she'll be remembered, but thank God we don't have to deal with her. I mean, great singer. Nice butt. But such a bitch. She smelled really bad. Oh, you were all fired. That's why I quit. You know, some people say she even took out Marley Jacob. <gasps> I never believed that rumor. Cut the brake line. Anyway, that's uh, just what I heard. <gasps> that is terrible. But the fans never abandoned her. When a cache of Ebony's personal possessions hit the collector's market, price seemed to be no limit. We were lucky to come across Ebony's personal diary. Very oh, juicy Nightmare. Stuff. I mean, we're talking deepest fears, emotional insecurities, the real inside dirt. Quite a find. Of course, the book will be published this fall. An advanced copy of the book was leaked by one of her closest friends Don't and read from my diary. July 14th. I've really got to break it off with Anne Haish. What's fun at a party isn't a relationship, and I have to remember that. Plus, I miss Mike. This is insane. I'm not dead. I'm yeah. right here. Millions of records. Millions of fans. A treasury of song we'll never forget. But what about those who knew her best? Well, I miss... Hey, let me out of here. <laughs> I miss the gig, I'll tell you that much. Well, I, I really can't comment on Ebony. My lawyers have advised against it. I miss Ebony. She was an no, enormous part of my life. No, can't be. I don't know that I can ever forgive her, though. Um, we were out on tour, and she never 
really gave us time off. And because of that, I was away the day that uh, my son, Tim, died. I'm sorry, can we, uh, can we stop this? But all this hasn't happened. This whole show. Oh, God, of course. They're not really talking about me. They're some kind of mix-up. I'll just call them in the morning. And straighten things out. As soon as I'm done with AM America and the photo shoot. It's a simple mistake, obviously. They're, they're probably really talking about Celine Dion. It is Celine Dion! Rest in peace, Ebony. Rest in peace. No! Not Ben Midler! This isn't true! None of this has happened! I can stop it from happening! This doesn't make sense! Why show me if I can't do anything about it? I've learned my lesson! I have! I'll change! Just give me a chance! You there, boy! Hello! Yes, you, you! Who the dick is you calling, boy? I'm sorry, I don't have my contacts in yet. What day is it? Hey, aren't you Ebony the singer? Yes, 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 but I need to know... You look much thinner on TV. Please, what day is it? Hey, it's Ebony. Oh, damn. Wait till I tell my wife. It's Christmas, all day. Was AM America on yet? Oh, let me look at the widescreen TV in the back. Damn, girl, I don't know. It's 6.15 in the morning. Great. I've got time. Whatever. Okay. Hello? Kelly, it's Ebony. I'm so sorry to wake you up this early in the morning, but it's important. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, I need you to do some things for me, okay? You have a pen. Now calling rooms 27 through 36 for Eastern Atlantic Flight 801 to Cleveland. If you are sitting in rows 20... Get on that plane. We've been through this. I know, I know. I, I know exactly why you want to go, but I'm asking you to trust me just one more time. Please stay. I can't. I've got everything under control. I swear, just wait there and I'll explain everything, but don't leave. Ebony, if you are trying Bob, to pull... believe me. I know you have absolutely no reason to trust me. But I promise I won't let you down if you do. Please. And Bob? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Four. 
three, two. This is AM America, 20 minutes past the hour, and we are back with Ebony. And I just want to wish everyone a merry, merry Christmas. Well, thank you. Now, listen, this CD, Dreaming of an Ebony Christmas, it is one of the biggest holiday albums this year. And I'm so grateful to all of my fans. Well, it is also the first CD with the new $25 retail price. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, but starting tomorrow, I'm sending thousands of copies to children's hospitals all over the country. And I'll buy stereos for those that don't have any. And when I'm on the road, I'm visiting sick children in every city we play. That's great. Well, what else can I do? I beg your pardon? Well, I'm just really open to ideas right now. Well, it sounds like you're already going to be pretty busy. Oh, Heather, it's so important that I give back something now while I have the chance. Words we could all live by. Thank you. When we come back, Ebony's going to sing for us. And you know, I'm just... really serious about that ideas thing. <laughs> How many tickets you got for the Ebony concert tonight? You know that show sold out. Well, how many you got? They ain't cheap. You do have tickets for tonight, don't you? Hey, anybody ever tell you you look uh, just like... Maybe the... I should try the place across the street. I got 12. 3,000 each. You need a lot more than 12. Well, I could call my brother's place. Go ahead. But you realize this is going to cost you like... Uh... You take American Express? Yeah. Call your brother. It's turkey dinner for 100. Well, yes, tonight. But Wolfgang, sweetheart, you're the best chef in the world. Well, if I can't trust you to do it, who can I turn to? I need you, darling. Or a plane ticket, just tell Ernie he'll take care of it. Right, Ernie? Do you have any idea what this is going to cost? Right, Ernie? Yes, just ask me. <laughs> right. Aunt Ebony, is the invitation still open? If not, I can. Oh, no, of course. Come in. Everybody, this is my favorite aunt. Uh, your only aunt. Come to spend Christmas with us. Well, I can't stay. I have a concert tonight. Hold on. What's going on here? Well, I wanted to see you and give you these presents. What's wrong? What do you need? I don't need... Well, that's not true. I do need something. I need you to accept my apology. To accept me into your heart. I've been so blind for so long, and I'm just so sorry. Baby, you gonna tell her? What? I'm pregnant. <gasps> You're gonna be a great aunt. I <laughs> am! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna be a great aunt. You'll see. So you sure you won't stay? Well, maybe for one game of charades. Okay. <laughs> Bob? Bob? Oh, thank God I caught you. What is going on here? Bob Cratchit, I need to tell you something. I... I just... I love you so much. And you're the best friend I've ever had. And there is nobody and nothing more important in the world to me than you. Now. Oh, my God. Oh, I missed you so much. My little godson. 
Wait a minute. What's wrong? From now on, I'm taking personal responsibility for you. Ebony flew us in. I, I don't understand. I met with the top guys at Children's Hospital and showed them the information Kelly faxed me. I'm going to take great care of them. They're the best. You're going to be just fine, aren't you, little buddy? I sure am. That's right. And listen, you. You're on vacation as of right now. Take all the time you need. The most important thing is that you and Kelly help Tim get better. These are for you. Hotel, theater tickets, everything. You can't sit in the hospital for 24 hours a day. You might as well enjoy New York. I don't know what to say. Please, it's the least I can do. Yeah, I mean, how do I... Bob. Thanks for everything. I mean everything. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Some kind of spread. More stuffing? Please, no, I'm stuffed. I still have to fit into that little gold dress. I'll have more stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> How about some champagne? How about after the show? Don't you just love Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes, everybody. Fifteen minutes. I gotta get into my little dress. Thanks. Who was that woman? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Albany! Hello, New York! Merry Christmas! Thanks to all of you tremendous generosity. This concert tonight has raised over one million dollars for charity. And every single penny of that money is going to charity. By the way, Ernie, you were so fired. What's going on? Evan. Honey. Oh, Merry Christmas, Ernie. Huh? No, I want my life. Anyway, with one thing and another, this and that, the whole spirit of Christmas thing kind of got away from me for a while. And then I had a really bad night's sleep last night. But you know what? Sometimes all it takes is a bad night's sleep to make your head straight. Everything seems so clear in the morning. So let's hear it for Christmas. All right. My band, you guys are the best in the whole wide world. As the season wraps around us, like gifts around a tree, I can't help but remember what Christmas used to be. As the child inside me wanders to a time I can't where candy canes and magic fill the days that we share, and the truth of those moments still shines like a star for the joy that lives in 
Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go back to 1988. Let's see if y'all remember this song. Put your hands together. Just hear those sleigh bells tingling, ring, ting, tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Ooh. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Let's, go. let's look at the snow.
overcame a danger I've never felt before. 